and today's video is going to be my slightly belated September monthly favorites. I just plopped on down in this chair and I was about to start filming another Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys and I figured what the fiddle diddle why not go ahead and film this video because I did make a list. Comment down below and try and guess if you think if you can guess what my next Halloween tutorial is gonna be. I'll give you two small hints. One, it was requested and two, it's a movie character. Isn't that vague? Have fun down below. In the meantime, let's get started. Let's just get one thing right out of the way, right off the top, because it's like a 50-50 favorite slash unfavorite. Who is ready for a tragic toothpaste story? I tried this new toothpaste from Sensodyne, which is supposed to be a daily whitening toothpaste for sensitive teeth, and they promised me foaming action even, and I don't know about you guys, but I just love foaming toothpaste because it makes me feel like a rabid animal in the woods, just blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I like to pretend like I have rabies. Okay, it's fun. You should try it. And I'm not gonna lie. I was absolutely loving this stuff for like the first oh, 20 times I used it and then it backfired on me. So I thought I would be polite and warn you guys just in case you have the same problems that I do. So some of you may have noticed and even commented in a strangely rude fashion that I have extremely stained teeth. And that's because I just sip on sweet tea 24 hours a day. I'm not even kidding. I have a cup right now. One of the main reasons why my teeth are so stained is because I refuse to like give up periodically drinking tea all through the night. Like I spring out of bed in the middle of slumber and drink some tea. So it just sits on my teeth overnight staining until I wake up and brush them again in the morning. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop drinking tea. I'm just, it's not going to happen. It says on the box that you can use this. This is not a box. On the back of this tube-like container apparatus. It says that technically you can use this twice a day like you would any other toothpaste. So I started like introducing it. Like I would brush my teeth with my regular Sensodyne and then brush with this toothpaste. And I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of times whitening products cause horrible sensitivity and my teeth are like the most sensitive, brittle little creatures in the world. My teeth are like made of Painful paper. Bad analogy. I have tried whitening products in the past and they just make my teeth so much in pain that I'm just, it's not worth it to me. So to make a long story short, I stopped using my other Sensodyne and I started using this two times a day. And after about a week of doing that, and it's kind of sad too, because even a lot of you guys on Instagram were commenting about how white and magical my teeth were starting to look. And it's because I was using this stuff constantly, but it backfired. And then it made my teeth like so painful. I couldn't even eat for a day. Hot foods hurt, cold foods hurt, drinking hurt. I just just like laid in bed and like uh, all day. It's got a lot of whitening ingredient in it. It will work. It will make your teeth hurt if you have baby teeth in your face. Proceed with caution. The very next thing on my list that actually is a favorite is a YouTube channel and I don't know if you guys have seen this guy before but his channel name is called The Magic of Rahat. Oh my god. His videos are so hilarious. He does these pranks like an invisible shopping cart trick or it's like a ghost shopping cart and he's done like ghost cereal. He has like invisible drivers through drive throughs and he captures people's reaction every time. It is priceless. It is hilarious. He just uploaded a video a few days ago where it looks like a anatomical skeleton is going through food drive throughs I love every video. I haven't seen a video once that I didn't like. Moving right along. The next monthly favorite is a new blush shade that I've been trying from Tarte and it was in my homecoming makeup tutorial suggestion. Speaking of rabies, I said that this blush was like rabies red. It just looks very fevered and it doesn't look as red on your face once you apply it to your face, but it really looks like it's going to be like clown red, but it's not. I just think it is a beautiful flushed color. It blends out well. It looks great with my bronzer. I like it. The next item is also red. I have been absolutely addicted to these Kool-Aid singles packets. I feel like I put this in a favorites video like many years ago. 
I don't know. It's a favorite again. I started drinking a ton of these when I was at Walt Disney World, kind of as a, what am I trying to say? Swappertunity. That's the only term I can think of right now. Commercialism. It works. I was trying to swap out drinking a ton of sodas for drinking these Kool-Aid things. I don't know if it's any better for you sugar-wise. I think so. This has uh, only seven grams of sugar, so it has to be way better than a soda, which normally has like 23 grams of sugar. They are delicious, and I also feel like since I'm pouring it into a bottle of water that I'm consuming water, which I normally don't do a lot, so it's a healthy option all the way around. What is next on the list? Oh, a documentary. On Netflix, I watched a new sushi, sushi, I can't even say it, Pony Mouth. I love sushi documentaries. First of all, I love listening to people speak in Japanese. I think that that is such a soothing language to listen to. And the people that aren't speaking in Japanese, the other ones are speaking in an Australian accent, which is also an accent that I wished that I had, but I don't, sadly. If you like sushi and you like documentaries and you have Netflix, I highly recommend you watch a documentary called Sushi, The Global Catch. Sushi is my favorite food. Did I say that already? I feel like I'm repeating myself. It's kind of like not only about sushi, but it's about fish conservation. And suddenly I really, really care about what happens to tunas. They even have this app that I downloaded and it's called Seafood Watch. Please excuse the lumps of hairspray that I have on the iPhone screen right now, but it is free to download. It looks like this. Oh, come on, work. It looks like this. Mm. It's not just for sushi, it's for all seafoods. You can type in an ingredient or you can look up a specific sushi roll and it tells you in this app, like if it has a green light, then it means it's like a sustainable type of sushi that you can eat. And if it's a red light, then you're not supposed to eat it. Like the tuna, don't do it. I thought that this was like a handy, interesting app that is good for the earth. And it's an interesting documentary. I don't know. If you like things like that, you'll like that documentary. My next monthly favorite, which is still burning hot because I just took it out of my hair, is this Numi 5-in-1 hair curler. I just used it in my Ghost Bride tutorial, and I actually filmed several videos that I've never edited or put up. I did a Get Ready With Me when I was at Walt Disney World, and I never, I haven't edited it, it edited it yet. Ugh, I haven't done it. This right now is the 25 millimeter barrel, which I use most often, but it's called the five in one because there's five different attachments that you can use on that one wand. This is my other favorite one that I used in my Disney video that I've not put out yet. Please don't make any grotesque jokes about this thing. This is the pearl, um, thing. If you were at my Savannah, Georgia meet and greet, then I was talking about this thing with some of you guys, but this creates really, really interesting curls, and I've never had a wand that looks like this before, so it is new, it is different, and I like it, and I think I still have a coupon code. Numi sent these curling wands for me to try, I end up really liking them, and so they offered to give me a coupon code that you guys can use, and I hope I'm giving you the correct coupon code in the info box. I'm really bad at coupon codes. I wish that we just had a universal coupon code like bananas that just worked on every website and just gave everyone 20% off. We should try that. We are already at my last monthly favorite, which is a pair of shoes. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen them. They are the Jeffrey Campbell Truancies. And yes, I know they look a lot like the Jeffrey Campbell Tardies. They do things like that. I don't know. So these are the Truancies. They have them in white and they have them in black. And I got the black ones. I'm questioning getting the white ones because they are so comfortable and they are so easy to just wear as an everyday shirt shoe. I have worn them with shorts and dresses and leggings. They are so cushy. They just look different. I'm trying to not put them too closely to my face because they've got mall germs on the soul, the bottom. You've got mall germs in your soul. That's like a really bad insult that you could fling at somebody. 
Don't insult people, that's not nice. They remind me of like creepy nurse shoes, which is ironic that I would even like something like that because I am horrified by doctors, nurses, and hospitals. Just makes no sense. Sorry to any of y'all nurses out there. I'm sure y'all are nice people. You just scare me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below. Guess what makeup tutorial I'm about to do. If you're not already, please hit that button, take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram and stay in touch there and it's also at graveyard girl same way it's spelled here i love you guys so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye